Breaking news from Starbase. The FAA has just released its first official findings about the Starship explosion, and what they discovered might surprise you. While SpaceX races to prepare Ship 34 for its next mission, all eyes are on the launch window for Flight 8. But there's more. An unexpected visitor from space has caught astronomers' attention, raising questions about Earth's planetary defense systems. The space industry is moving at breakneck speed. In just the past month, we've witnessed history unfold with a Starship launch. New Glenn's debut and multiple missions reaching for the moon. The new space race isn't just heating up, it's on fire. Speaking of fire, Ship 34 is getting ready for action at Starbase. Those massive Raptor engines are being installed as we speak, and the launch pad repairs are moving faster than anyone expected. Elon Musk still maintains we'll see Flight 8 in February, but there's a crucial detail in SpaceX's latest FCC filing that everyone needs to know about. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Let's start with what everyone's been asking about. That February 24th date that's been circulating everywhere. Here's the real story. SpaceX recently received an FCC license for Starship Communications, valid from February 24th to August 24th. But before you mark your calendars, there's something crucial you need to understand. This isn't a launch license. It's just a standard communication permit that SpaceX has to renew every six months. What it does tell us, though, is that Flight 8 won't happen before February 24th. That's our earliest possible launch date, but there's much more to this story. Remember Flight 7? The one that ended with Ship 33 breaking apart over the Turks and Caicos Islands? That investigation is still ongoing, and what the FAA just revealed changes everything. For the first time, they've officially confirmed that Starship debris did land on the islands. This isn't just speculation anymore. It's fact. There were even reports of debris hitting a car. Now, I know some of you commented that this was fake news on our last episode, but this comes straight from the FAA. While thankfully no injuries have been reported, this poses serious questions about future launches. But here's where it gets interesting. SpaceX isn't sitting still. Right now at Starbase, Ship 34 is coming together faster than anyone expected. Over the weekend, the teams at Mega Bay 2 kicked into high gear. Picture this, a massive vacuum Raptor engine, fresh from the Star Factory, being carefully maneuvered into position. These aren't just any engines. They're engineering marvels designed to perform in the vacuum of space, with nozzles wider than a car's long. The physics behind these engines is fascinating. In space, where there's virtually no pressure, these expanded nozzles can work their magic, squeezing every bit of performance out of the fuel. It's like the difference between trying to breathe through a straw at sea level versus on top of Mount Everest. The environment changes everything. Speaking of changes, SpaceX is revolutionizing their production process. Ship 36 is already being stacked, but here's the game changer. They're doing it inside the Star Factory. This might sound simple, but it's a massive leap forward. No more rolling sections back and forth between buildings. No more weather delays. Every hour saved brings us closer to SpaceX's dream of daily launches. But the real drama is happening at the launch pad. After Flight 7, Pad A looked like it had gone 10 rounds with a heavyweight champion. The fastest SpaceX has ever turned around a pad for another static fire was 11 days. That was after Flight 5. This time, they're still working on repairs. This isn't just about fixing damage. It's about preventing it from happening again. That's where Pad B comes in, and this is where the story gets really exciting. Imagine building a launch pad that can withstand the force of 33 Raptor engines. That's like trying to contain a controlled explosion that could power a small city. The new flame diverter they're building isn't just an upgrade. It's a complete rethinking of how to handle these forces. During our recent flyover with Redline helicopter tours, we saw something remarkable. A line of concrete trucks waiting to pour the foundation of what might be the most advanced rocket launch pad ever built. The flame trench, this massive structure that will redirect the raw power of Starship's engines is taking shape right before our eyes. Workers are racing against time, installing the critical components that will protect both the rocket and the pad during launch. But here's the most incredible part. They're not just building one piece at a time. The tank farm is expanding, 
new water deluge systems are being installed, and the launch mount itself is coming together simultaneously. SpaceX is orchestrating a ballet of heavy machinery and precision engineering, all while the clock ticks toward their next launch attempt. The hardware they're installing at Sanchez is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The water-cooled launch deck, designed to withstand temperatures that could melt steel, is nearly complete. The flame bucket, a massive structure that will split and redirect the engine exhaust, is being fortified with protective pipes on both sides. They're building this thing to be indestructible, and they need to be, because what's coming next is even more ambitious. Ship 35 is already fully stacked, just waiting in the wings. Think about that. They're not just building one starship at a time anymore. They're creating a production line that could change the face of space travel forever. Each ship takes about a month and a half between stacking and cryotesting, but SpaceX is working to slash that time dramatically. Remember when a single Starship launch was headline news? Now we're talking about a future where they could launch multiple times per day. The bottleneck isn't regulations anymore. It's how fast they can build and test these massive rockets. Every small improvement in their process, every minute saved in production, brings that future a little closer. But let's talk about what this really means for the future of space exploration. Block 2 Starships will double the number of vacuum Raptor engines from 3 to 6. That's not just an incremental improvement, it's a quantum leap in capability. These ships aren't just bigger rockets, they're the foundation of SpaceX's vision for interplanetary travel. The testing schedule is intense. Ship 34 has its engines installed, its flaps attached, and it's nearly ready for its static fire campaign. But unlike previous tests, this one carries extra weight. The FAI is watching closely after the Flight 7 debris incident, and every move SpaceX makes is under scrutiny. Looking at the launch timeline realistically, we're probably looking at late February to early March for Flight 8. But here's what makes this different. SpaceX isn't just trying to launch another rocket. They're building an entire system, a methodology, a future where space travel is as regular as air travel. The changes they're making at Starbase reflect this vision. The new flame trench at Pad B isn't just designed to handle one launch, it's built to handle thousands. The production improvements aren't just about building rockets faster. They're about creating a sustainable, repeatable process that can support regular launches to Mars. This is where we stand now. Ship 34 is ready for testing, Pad B is racing toward completion, and the FAA is carefully watching every step. The next few weeks will be critical. Will the new pad designs prove more resilient? Will the production improvements speed up the launch cadence? Will the FAA's findings about Flight 7 impact future launches? These aren't just technical questions. They're the key to humanity's future in space. Every launch, every test, every improvement brings us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The road ahead isn't easy. But SpaceX is proving that, with enough determination and innovation, even the most ambitious dreams can become reality. As we watch these developments unfold at Starbase, one thing is clear. We're not just watching a company build rockets. We're watching the future of human space exploration take shape. One Raptor engine, one concrete pour, one launch at a time. The next chapter in this story is about to begin, and you're here to witness it all. And there you have it, a pivotal moment in SpaceX's journey. Flight 8 is approaching, with the launch window likely opening in late February or early March. Ship 34 stands ready, while Pad B's revolutionary design promises to change the game entirely. The FAOA's confirmation of Flight 7 debris reminds us that each launch pushes the boundaries of what's possible, requiring careful balance between progress and safety. This is more than just another launch. It's a step toward making life multi-planetary. Ship 34's enhanced design, the ambitious Pad B construction, and SpaceX's relentless drive to improve remind us why we're all here watching history unfold. What do you think about these developments? Will Flight 8 mark a turning point for Starship? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to stay updated on every move at Starbase and beyond, Hit that subscribe button and join our growing community here at Elon Musk 24 Hours. For daily SpaceX updates and exclusive content, 
make sure to follow us on all social media platforms. Don't forget to smash that like button if you found this video informative. It really helps support the channel and keeps you informed about the latest in space exploration. Until next time, keep watching the skies. History is being made right before our eyes. The night sky once whispered dreams of exploration, but today it roars with the thunderous ambition of two global superpowers racing toward the stars. China and the United States are locked in a high-stakes aerospace showdown, where every launch, every failed test, and every regulatory hurdle could tip the balance of global technological supremacy. In the past 18 months, a stark contrast has emerged. China's relentless rocket launches revealing a dangerous dance with disaster, while SpaceX navigates a labyrinth of regulatory challenges. Rocket boosters crashing near populated areas, toxic fumes billowing over residential zones, and uncontrolled test flights paint a picture of risk that goes far beyond mere technological growing pains. We're standing at a critical moment in humanity's journey beyond Earth, where innovation meets danger, where national pride collides with human safety, and where the future of space exploration hangs in a delicate balance. Let's dive right in. In the unforgiving landscape of space exploration, two global titans are playing a dangerous game of technological roulette. China's aerospace program has become a high-stakes gamble where human lives hang in the balance, while SpaceX fights a different battle against bureaucratic red tape and regulatory constraints. Let's zoom in on the heart of China's most pressing problem, launch sites that are ticking time bombs of potential disaster. Imagine standing in Chongqing, one of China's most densely populated urban centers, where rocket boosters rain down like unpredictable metal meteors. This isn't science fiction. This is the brutal reality of China's current aerospace strategy. Over the past 18 months, a pattern of increasingly dangerous launches has emerged. In December 2023, a Long March 3B rocket launch from Xichang turned a routine mission into a potential catastrophe. A booster crashed onto a hillside in Guizhou province, dangerously close to residential areas, releasing toxic yellow fumes of nitrogen tetroxide, a chemical so hazardous it can cause severe respiratory damage with just moments of exposure. But this wasn't an isolated incident. Mid-2024 saw another Long March 2C rocket launch where boosters crashed near populated areas with toxic gas plumes even more pronounced than previous incidents. The most shocking moment came during a Space Pioneer's static fire test, where a rocket booster broke free from its test stand, lifted off unintentionally, and crashed into a nearby area, exploding with a shock wave that vibrated residential buildings miles away. China's fundamental problem lies in its launch site geography. While most spacefaring nations strategically position launch pads along coastlines or islands to minimize population risks, China tells a different story. Of its four major launch facilities, three, Zichang, Tuan, and Tian, are located deep inland. Only the Wenchang Space Launch Site on Hainan Island follows global best practices, but it remains underutilized. The physics of rocket launches compounds this risk. Most rockets launch eastward to leverage Earth's rotation, which means rocket boosters and debris consistently fall over densely populated regions. It's a game of aerial Russian roulette, with entire communities unwittingly in the crosshairs. The Chinese government's response has been disturbingly nonchalant. Each incident is met with statements claiming no damage occurred and that residents received prior warnings. But the truth is far more complex and terrifying. These aren't just technical mishaps, they're potential humanitarian disasters waiting to unfold. China's aerospace sector is racing forward with breathtaking speed, nearly 70 launches in the past year, with a target of 100 missions this year. Private sector companies, often accused of technological mimicry, are pushing boundaries with increasing frequency. But at what cost? Contrast this with SpaceX's approach. Every launch pad strategically positioned along coastal regions. Every mission meticulously planned with safety as the paramount concern. When the Starship experiences a technical failure, the immediate response isn't denial, but transparent investigation and immediate corrective action. The FAA's regulatory framework, 
while sometimes frustratingly slow, ensures a level of accountability that protects both human life and technological progress. When an anomaly occurs, like a Falcon 9 booster failing to land on a drone ship, a full investigation follows, regardless of whether damage was caused. We're witnessing more than a technological race. This is a profound ethical challenge that will define the next era of human space exploration. China must confront the uncomfortable truth that its current aerospace strategy is unsustainable. Relocating launch sites, establishing strict safety protocols, and prioritizing human life over rapid development aren't just recommendations. They're moral imperatives.